uh, Miranda did freestyle and it came all the way down to the final touch. Julie was leading into the final 75 metres, well, at the 75 metre mark over the last 25 metres, and she was beating Marinda off the wall with her fantastic backstroke turns. Marinda comes up and she's thrashing around like a thrasher shark, and she gets Julie right on the wall in the touch. And uh, so that's big bragging rights for Rennie. So uh, now that you got third and Rennie beat you, <laughs> Rennie's beat you out again. <laughs> How do you feel, you big fat loser? <laughs> I'm kind of getting used to it. I think I've raced many. Well, I guess Rev 3, she kicked my ass. Um, today, she kicked my ass. Um, the swim off. The swim off. She didn't really kick my ass, but she did beat me. I did beat her to 1,000 Twitter followers and 2,000 Twitter followers, and I'm hoping that I beat her tomorrow night when the cutoff is. But she's chasing me fast. So help me out. There's only 100 you did. Oh, don't let her win everything. <laughs> Julie, let's run through your uh, Ironman uh, rookie experience. Um, you know, uh, like I said, you're a three-time Xterra world champion. You're the current Foster Grand World Championship 70.3 world champion coming into this race. That's where you took your slot. And it wasn't until after uh, Abu Dhabi this year that you actually decided that uh, you're ready for this race. Um, so was it everything uh, you thought it was? Yeah, I, I, I think it was really, um, you know, I, I, was, I definitely knew I was going to be suffering out there on the run, like my longest run before today was 21 miles, so I knew I, knew I was going into uncharted territory. Um, you know, I, I'm happy with my day, I, I didn't have a great swim, I kind of got let off course a little bit following two guys, and I, I lost a little bit of time, I was right with the front group, um, so a little bit disappointed with my swim. Oops. Should turn that off. You were first. Um, Is that a deal coming in? Sorry. I'll take ten percent. <laughs> um, and then the bike, yeah, like I, I had a good bike. I, I definitely wanted to go try and go sub five hours. Didn't really know what I could do. Um, you know, especially the last couple of hours. But I think I finished it off strong. Um, yeah, I really had a great ride today. You know, I'd be lying if I wasn't hoping for a little bit more time um, coming off the bike. But I, you know, she, all her results this year, she's been biking stronger. I've, I've ridden with her in Boulder, and, and I knew she was riding well. She drops me every time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's true. And Caroline had a great ride too. Like, you know, I've seen the splits, and she was holding me at three minutes for a long time. So. Um, you know, it definitely made me work hard. And then on the run, you know, I started out feeling great um, through about 10 miles, um, and then just had some major cramping issues that I need to work on. Um, but yeah, I had to dig really deep just to finish, and I think you saw that when I crossed the finish line. Oh, no, I felt it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a fantastic experience. That's awesome. Uh, congratulations, and uh, no doubt we'll, uh, we'll be seeing you again, that's for sure.